Have you ever heard of a rabbi from Morocco who became a sea pirate and a diplomat in the 16th century? This is the story of Rabbi Samuel Palachi. He was born in the city of Fez, Morocco, in 1550 to parents who had made their home there after fleeing persecution of Jews in Spain following the Alhambra Decree of March 1942, when Catholic monarchs Queen Isabella I of Castile and King Ferdinand II of Aragon expelled all Jews from Spain as part of the Reconquesta. This followed forced conversion of nearly half of Spanish Jews to Christianity. Hundreds of thousands of Jews were either forced to become Catholic or flee the country. Samuel Palachi, born in 1550, in the crowded Jewish quarter of Fez in Morocco, like many of his neighbors who were descendants of Jews expelled from Spain. His father was a rabbi and teacher who planned a similar career for his son. But Samuel, who was an ordained rabbi, had different aspirations. He dreamt to travel the seas. Samuel and his brother Yosef went to Tutan in north Morocco, where they soon became seamen and pirates. The Palachi brothers, determined to punish the Spanish for the crimes they committed against the Jews, they would attack Spanish commercial ships coming back from South America loaded with wealth from the New World, and then they would pose as Spanish traders and sell the goods they stole in Spanish seaport cities. In his book, Jewish Pirates, Edward Chrysler sheds light on a fascinating phenomenon. Jewish pirates who acted after the expulsion from Spain would attack mainly Spanish ships as revenge. The most notable man among them was Dan Samuel Palachi, who was a rabbi, ship captain, ambassador, spy, double agent, as well as a pirate. Samuel Palachi arrived in Netherlands, Holland, sometime after 1590, after a delegation from the Dutch Republic visited Morocco to discuss common alliance against Spain. In 1608, Sultan Zidane Abu Mali of Morocco appointed the Jewish merchant Samuel Palachi to interpret for his envoy to the Dutch government in The Hague. In June 1608, Palachi met Prince Maurice of Nassau, and the State General in The Hague to negotiate an alliance of mutual assistance against Spain. In December 1610, the two nations signed a treaty of friendship and free commerce, an agreement recognizing free commerce between Netherlands and Morocco, and allowing the Sultan to purchase ships, arms, munitions from the Dutch. This was one of the first official treaties between a European country and a non-Christian nation. In addition to his diplomatic affairs, Palachi continued his activities as a merchant, actively trading between the Netherlands and Morocco. He also got permission from Prince Maurice for privateering activities. The goods he obtained through these pirating activities were sold along the Moroccan coast. In 1614, Palachi having captured a Portuguese ship, was unable to bring his cargo ashore in Morocco, so he sailed for the Netherlands. A heavy storm forced him to seek refuge in an English port, where, by request of the Spanish ambassador, he was arrested and imprisoned. Eventually, Prince Maurice came to his aid and helped bring him back to Netherlands. However, he had lost all of his money by then and fell ill shortly thereafter. In February 1916, he died in The Hague and was buried in the Beth Haim Cemetery of the Portuguese Jewish community in Orderkirk an de Amstel, near Amsterdam. His tombstone describes him as the Moroccans Gezent, the Moroccan envoy. It cites his birthplace as Fez, Morocco, and burial date in the Hebrew calendar, 16th of the month of Shvat, 5376, February 4th, 1616. And it lists his three sons, Isaac, Moses, and David. Rabbi Shmuel Palachi's funeral was an expression of his mark on the community and on Holland in general. Prince Maurice himself followed the Corfin, as did the entire Jewish community in Amsterdam and many of its non-Jewish residents who admired him. Many people mourned his death. Shmuel Palachi lived a life full of turbulence. He was a merchant, 
a pirate, a diplomat, a spy, and one of the pillars of the new Jewish community in Netherlands. No matter how you look at it, Shmuel Palachi is one of the most fascinating figures in the history of the Jewish people.